Hey everyone, it's Monday the 30th of September and it's 20 past 1 in the afternoon and today I've got a die cast haul for you. Quite a big one. We're going to be unboxing as well, it's just off camera here. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to start with that one. But I've also got a box on the floor that I got from a die cast guy a couple of weeks ago now. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do a video on that box on the floor, but then I decided to wait until this lot arrived. And Wednesday, I've got another bag to go and pick up from the uh, the diecast guy. So let's try and get this box open. bag or something there. Right. <clears throat> Got something uh, actually sealed in a jiffy bag here. That one is empty, it's perfectly flat. I bought so much at this uh, Facebook auction, I can't remember what I did get. Ah! Yeah, I remember that. Bought that because I've I don't think I bought the trailer with it, but I know I've got a trailer to go with that. What else have we got? Not still is that the Maisto ambulance yet? Little Maisto ambulance is missing its back door, but never mind. I think that did come with a trailer. I think. <clears throat> uh, is that a majorette? No, that's another corgi. What's this one? That's got to be matchbox with those wheels. Yep. <clears throat> a little corgi. There's the matchbox one. I cannot remember for the life of me if they actually did come with the. Uh, Do it, he's all not. Oh, oh dear. Nudge bar has fallen off of that one, but I t <laughs> he put these up again. So I nabbed both of them. So I've now got three of these. But yeah, the push bars have fell off of that one. Uh, I really do not have a steady enough hand to glue those back on. There's the other one. Nice, complete. So what I'm going to do, because of the angle of my hand, I'm just going to move the camera that way a little bit. Right. Ah. Yep, I thought they were matchboxes. No one put a bid on these, I was the only one that put a bid on. But I just got the convoy. The matchbox convoy bug when I saw uh, when I went through my box of them the other week. So I've got that. Should have another one buried in here somewhere. Now there's a lot wrapped up. Oh, I didn't realise that was um, this scale. Mercedes, we're missing the grill. It's a bit bent, but here we go. It's cheap, less than a quid if I remember correctly. I don't think I'm going to get them all on there. Are you playing with the bits of bubble wrap on the floor? Yep. <laughs> right, let's start going through some of these, shall we? Matchbox Ford Sierra in white. A little bit of paint on it. Got myself another one of these Rolls Royces. 
because it's better than the one I have got. Same with that Ford Sierra, actually, I've already got that one. Um, I couldn't remember if I actually had this particular snow plough or not. It's missing its plough. I don't think I have, not anymore. Or I didn't. But now I have. See if I can find a plough for it. <clears throat> Lovely Corgi Ford Sierra that I didn't have. There is a mix of brands in here, by the way. I forgot to mention that at the start of the video. Um, yep, Dodge Caravan from Matchbox. Uh, that looks like a Chevy Caprice. Leave us another green light. <clears throat> do, 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 do. What's this one? Ah, yes. <clears throat> That's another one that I've already got, but this one's in far better good condition. Try and keep the mess to a minimum up here. I have got a nice empty bin down here. I was picking these at random. Oh, I remember what the uh, that yellow truck went to. Corgi Mercedes Benz in orange. Now I know I've got it in white, blue, a couple of different shades of blue actually, but I didn't have the orange one. <clears throat> okay. Corgi Rockets, if I remember rightly. Yep. Jaguar XJ6. Now, I have got this one. This one's in pretty much mint condition. Why not? I'm what are you trying to do? There's a sort of wood smell coming out of this box. I think that's, I don't know if that's what he's um, sniffing out. Get under there. Oh yeah, the yellow one. The yellow foam tender. Are you helping? There we go. Now, this one I will uh, keep in this box because it's the only Johnny Lightning I've actually got boxed. In fact, I think that could be the only Johnny Lightning I have. But it was a Mustang, so I couldn't resist. <coughs> yeah, so there's the trailer for that yellow cab. There we go. Now it's complete. Didn't know there was a door missing, but when I think of it, I might actually have a red door because the Weetabix trailers use the same red doors. So I may actually um, have that. Ah yes, that's like my fourth one of these four day series in yellow. But uh, I got this one because one, it has both hooks and two, that's in very good condition. My other three are in bad condition and only one of them has only got one hook and the others haven't got any hooks. So that's why I grabbed that one. Uh, there we go. Can't resist these. I've not found one of these in mint condition yet. It's not in bad condition. Corgi Buick Regal in a colour that I didn't have for a change. 
I've got it in light green, but I didn't know they did it in a, uh, a dark green. Yep, little Hot Wheels BMW that I didn't have. Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot I bought both of them because they were cheap. I think they were less than a pound each. And that one's in um, pretty good condition. Much better than the other one. I forgot what I bought and what I didn't buy. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Look at that one. Can't see what's got written on the door and my mag well that magnifying glass isn't close at hand. Where's my other one? Nope, unfortunately. That is actually a little bit bigger than I thought that would be. <laughs> what was this one? Oh yeah! Golf truck. I can't remember what that is. Um, let me just grab my magnifier. I know it's an uh, American truck, but I just can't remember what it is. It's definitely American. Of Dodge A100, 1966 Dodge A100. Oh, I did get a trailer with that um, first cab, or first truck. It is in here. Oh yeah, that I remember now. Yeah, that's the uh, Royal Mail one. One of these corgi BMWs that I didn't have, not in this colour. I'm have to stand somewhere near, I think. Let's get rid of that out of the way. Ah, they're majorettes. I couldn't tell what they were. Or at least this one. That's a BMW. 325i. From Majorette. I'm very partial to a majorette at the moment. There's, speaking of, here's another one. Marginally better condition than my other one. Actually, paint-wise, it is in better condition. Jaguar. There's another one I'm surprised that no one stuck a bid on. Because I've never seen this one before. It's certainly a later release because it's got later Matchbox wheels on it. And it is missing the hook, but I do find several. In fact, I have a hook that might, might actually go on that. I mean, apart from the missing hook, it's in relatively good condition. Another bit of a clean up up here. Still going. I get the Hot Wheels Mustang. Which I am pretty certain I don't have. I was just questioning myself for a second there, but I'm pretty certain I don't have that. It's Hot Wheels. I've never seen this one from Hot Wheels. GPD Police, whatever that is. How many damn cars did I buy? <laughs> oh, I think that's a Motor Max. Fluorescent yellow Porsche. <laughs> One of the reasons I bought it, I just like the colour of it. And I actually thought that was a matchbox, but it's not. 
but that doesn't matter though. I did have to put up a little bit of a fight to get that version of the Opal Cadet. I believe it's an Opal Cadet anyway. Yep. Because I actually bought an orange one from the same guy in the last unboxing I did. I'm sure I did an unboxing. What we got here? That's a Majorette Porsche, isn't it? Yeah. Bright orange Majorette Porsche. With a wide wheelbase. Another Hot Wheels Mustang, with Sheriff written on it. Loose bit of bubble wrap there. And it's got something on the... oh yeah. Some of these I just bought to add to the collection, even though I've already got them, because they were ridiculously cheap. Just like that one. That one's had some random stickers put on it. Although that's super fast, I can't... Yeah, I might actually have a super fast one. That's actually ripe for a restoration, that one. Okay, I thought that was a majorette. Mercedes-Benz estate. Let's see what Mercedes it is. It's a 300 TE. desk. <laughs> we need to stop buying so much crap, one or the other. Oh yeah, the other Dodge Caravan. You know, this one there as well, I had a couple of these and a couple of those ones in black as well. So I went for one of each. I've got some more big scale stuff in here as well. Now, there is a matchbox. I've never seen that one in that colour. Almost looks like it might be part of their military series they did. I've got this Mercedes in blue, I've got it in orange, I've got it with um, regular wheels, super fast wheels. In fact, this has got much later super fast wheels on it. Corgi Ford Mustang. I remember having this one as a kid and I've not seen it since. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, I've got to have it. <laughs> got to have it again. A very nice matchbox. Rover Sterling, in, uh, silver over blue. I've got it in the other colour variation that I know of, which is like a dark pink, metallic pink colour over, I think a black or a grey. I've actually got a couple of that variation. I think that's the only one of that one I've got. Another major at uh, BMW 325. Yeah, 325i. It's just got different uh, Stripes on it and marks, markings. See? My dad had one of these years ago. Yeah, and blue has gone a funny colour. This is from age. Matchbox Jaguar police car, is that an XJ6 or something? I can't see it. Okay, this is a small one. Turbo. I have no idea, but I'm going to guess at something like a Mazda or something like that. It's uh, it's good, but it was just 
weigh less than a pound. There's only one of them, you know, generic Chinese cheapy things. Still a nice looking cat though. Ah, and another Corgi Mercedes in red this time. Oh, I just remembered I got one in black as well. I'll have to get them all together. Flatbed trailer. Now, did that go with this? Because I'm sure I've already got one of these flatbed trailers. And that, I don't actually remember buying that. No, I remember now. I bought the trailer. Yeah, that's it. The trailer came separately. And these go together. Now, does it have the doors? It does have both doors. Haha. <laughs> a bit wonky, but it does have both doors. So I've got the Royal Mail one to go in the collection as well. I've only got a small collection of these Corgi trucks. There they are in there. I've got a couple of Vanguards in here as well. Now, I have got this silver BMW from Majorette already. I think I've got it twice. I think this is my third one. But this one's a little bit rough. The other one I've got is actually mint. So I thought I'd just do a little, like a little... Uh, custom resto on or a code three as they call it. So I want to get back into that. Another matchbox Ford Sierra. Not in the best of conditions but I didn't have that one so I got that one. What have we got here? Oh yeah a sick of it. I had no idea what it was. I just liked the look of it. I did have another Siku in his um, auction but it was missing the boot and it was going for quite a substantial price more than I was willing to go for a damaged car what's a Lamborghini 400 GT Espada nice Siku's Especially older ones like that, um, holding the money. Oh. I totally forgot I bought both. <laughs> so I've got two of them. I did say earlier in the video that I'd forget what I bought. Uh, a Matchbox Rolls-Royce in a colour that I didn't have. I've got it in that sort of deep metallic red they did. Yeah, I saw that. That's not in too bad condition either. I think I've already got that one. But it's in much rougher condition. Oh, maybe that Corgi truck trailer over there did come with a cab. Oh, that's a majorette as well. See, I wasn't quite sure when I was looking at the photos. I just bought them because I thought, yeah, I'll have a couple of Mercedes wagons in the collection, but they're majorettes. I think we are nearly there for all the small stuff. I actually thought someone had glued these lights on top of that. But believe it or not, that is a Ford Escort from Maester. I'm sure I bought another convoy truck here. I think um, might have got a bit mixed up somewhere. Now I have already got this one. This one's in better condition. There's a matchbox as well, it's a Mercury, I think. I haven't noticed that it has got slightly bent wheels, but I'm okay with that. Right, 
Jesus. Ford Cortina from Matchbox. In a variation that I didn't have. And Matchbox GT series that I didn't have. Rolls-Royce, a very early match box, well it's a Lesney actually, way better condition than the other one I've got. A bit of a clear up, no I still haven't done this chair yet, it still creaks and groans and need a new chair really. We're getting there. Another Corgi Transport trailer. The car stuck on the back of it. How did you get that in there? It is missing its loading gate on the back. But I am pretty certain I have got several Corgi cabs, so. In fact, I know I've got several spare Corgi cabs. Ah! Matchbox Jaguar that I didn't have. But as far as small ones wrapped in tissue go, we've only got these three left. So we have <laughs> green Corgi Mercedes. <laughs> can you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to collect every colour variation I can find. Uh, oh yeah, Majorette. That's an Escort, isn't it? Yep. Mark 5 Escort. And the last one, while I'm keeping an eye on Monkey Nuts there. I tried leaving it flush on one of the early ones, and um, no good at this. It's a good job that's not copyrighted video, isn't it? <laughs> and a Corgi Ford Sierra in brown that I didn't have. This was a. Oh no, it's a Salido. Oh. <laughs> really? I've still got cars in there. It's Salido Ambulance. I've actually got the police car version of this as well. I don't know if it's the same car though. I don't think it is. No. They could be. I'll have to find the other one up. That's even better because I do like Salido. Don't you even think about it, shithead. Yeah, I'll just find the cab. This one, I think. can't even stop the video I was watching. Okay. It's a little bit on the rough side, but it's another one to the collection at least. British Airways Ford Escort van from Corgi. Someone weathered the wheels on this. Nope, I think that's just how it's gone with age. Because it's only that one that's done that. I think I've only got two in here under his, well one's quite literally under his bum. I did actually have to put up a little bit of a fight to win these ones, but I got that. I know it's an Austin, I think. Is that an ambassador? Or is that the land crab? I can't remember. I can't quite read it. Hang on. Wolseley Austin Morris 1800 2200. Well, apparently, it's three different cars, so take your pick. I am guessing then at either various points in its life, or maybe different parts of the country, or maybe in different countries, it was as badged up as either one of those 
brand. Because Wolseley, Austin and Morris. Actually, I know Austin and Morris. I think at some point became the same. I can't remember now. Not very good with my car history. Right, I think this is the last one. Morris Marina, these are when Lido did the vanguards. I believe Corgi do them now. But I do like these vanguards models, they are nice. Oh, the windows are wound down as well. Actually, there's a fair bit of weight in that. I'm sure these Lido Vanguards actually weigh more than the Corgi ones. I have to find some of my Corgi ones now and just uh, have a look. You're in the way now, so I can't get the other box up here. Well, not that I'd actually have anywhere to put the other box anyway. You do know, Smudge, that you're going to be the thumbnail for this video. I can reuse all these little bits of uh, buble wrap. Oi! <laughs> he don't use his claws as much as Snowy does when he plays. Snowy is a sod for using her claws, and she'll use them hard, even when she's playing. Goody, 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 get your two beans. Get your two beans. <laughs> That's it, you chew on your own toes. Right, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this other box now. What I can do is do the larger stuff that's right on top of it, because I can just stack those on the floor for now. Because <laughs> it's right here. Because, you know, as always, he messages me with a photo, you know, of a box or a bag of sort of matchbox and corgi and hot wheels stuff. When I get there, then I'll always find something else that takes me in the Are you throwing rubbish at me off the box? Do you mind? Right, anyway. Got some of these um, ruddy cars, and I think they're Dia... 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 I can never say that word. Dia Agostini, is that how it's pronounced? He had a whole bunch of these, and I took a liking to a handful of them. The rally cars aren't really my cup of tea, but I did like that, and I loved the detail on it. And it's even got those little mud flaps at the back there. And that one is the Peugeot 504, and it's got the, uh, you know, the driver and co-driver names on there that drove it. So... Another rarity, I'm going to keep these in these display cases for that reason. Normally I prefer to, you know, be the rebel and un take them out of the box. That's actually a security screw, um, screw on there. <laughs> you know, display them just as the car, but uh, not those ones. They can be displayed as is. What did I get? I think I got four. Yeah, I got four of those. We've got a Peugeot. That was the 504. Here's the 404. It also tells you what rally they uh, raced in as well. So that was the Safari Rally. I think a couple of these were a Safari Rally, actually. Yes, yeah, so was this one. This is a Datsun 240Z.
I'd love to get hold of a real one of these. Problem is, a lot of them are rust buckets now. I've seen a few of them featured on like Will It Starts on YouTube, and they're yeah, they're very rotten. <laughs> Even in America, these were actually I think everyone I've seen has been in America, and they've been very rotten over there. And that's a drier climate. Anyway, next one is a Citroen DS21. And that was in the Monte Carlo Rally, or in French it would be the Rally de Monte Carlo. Good luck, that's a very Citroen where you could take one of the back wheels off and it would still sit level. I've got a couple of these Maisto trucks as well, which I probably will be a rebel eventually and open these up. A red one and a blue one. And I prefer the style of the red one actually. I think the red one with the silver wheels would be nice. Pardon me. Uh, I need to put that with the model railway stuff. Little uh, Cararama Austin Mini. And in fact, behind me that I've got to do a repair on, there's another one that came in this lot. It's sitting upside down because um, the base cracked somehow, and I have no idea how this base cracked, but that's another one, it's a Mercedes. Yeah, I just need to try and uh, glue that base. It's right where the screw was. So I don't know if I dropped the box and it just snapped the screw, the screw just pulled through. But yeah, you can see the little hole right by my finger, right there. I just need to pop a, a dab of uh, super glue on that. It's not going to matter too much because you can't see the bottom of the cars. Now this actually intrigues me because it's a Tonka. Someone has obviously um, replaced the screws. They've got star screws in. Three of them are, and one of them is a big old Phillips. So obviously lost a screw at some point and just found that one to pop in there. Hey, it does the job. Um, there's some fairly unusual stuff in here as well. I've got one in my hand, but I can't find the other one because there was a pair of them. Little uh, racing car with a friction motor, very well made actually. It's a very nice toy, I suppose. Can't really call that a model, can you? But believe it or not, that is a um, metal body. I'm going to have to put some of this lot in this box when I'm done. You can keep your eyes. Well, actually, you wouldn't want to get in this box anyway, would you? Because it's plastic, not card. Right then, we have a Corgi Jeep, a bit filthy, so it needs a good clean, but complete. Uh, we've got another Matchbox GT series, nice condition, I think I've already got that one though. Police tow truck, minus the tow arm, I don't really know why I kept that. I really don't change my mind now. Maisto Beetle in blue. I think the other one I got is. I don't know if it's the pink or the yellow one there. Matchbox Fire Truck. I've actually got some little Baragos in here as well. We've got uh, another one of these grit trucks. Now, I know for a fact that I did not have this one. But they would nearly always lose that plow off the front. I'm not surprised though because they only clip on. Some sort of police truck with a canopy. That's nice matchbox as well. Uh, a variation of the matchbox quarry dumper or whatever you want to call it that I didn't have. I actually quite like the colour of this one. Don't like the wheels though. 
Why would you have alloys on a vehicle like that? This one I kept just because fire truck. I've now got two of these and I've got, well technically I've got three, but one of them's for the Intercom C set that they made, so it's got the little barcode underneath. Other than that, that it's exactly the same as this. And another thing that I don't know why I kept, I think that's for Thomas the Tank Engine, because he's got a face on him. A little uh, traction engine. I might actually have to start stacking some of these up the other side. There's another luminous orange fire tender. Airport service. Airport fire service, actually. Not a very good one, because I've just realised it's missing the foam cannon off the top. Let me put that... Uh, over there. I wonder why they put 1800-2200. So you could literally use your imagination with that, Austin. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm guessing they did that particular car in both engine sizes, a 2.2 litre and an 1800. What was that here? Don't know, but it's a Porsche, I think. Actually, now that I look at it, I'm not that certain, but it's a nice little car. He's pretending to sleep, by the way. His eyes are still open. And, of course, a necessity in my collection of the double-decker bus. I got this one in green. Look, I actually thought someone had painted this when I first saw it, but no, that is the actual factory colour. Never knew they did this. Now it's got Roundtree's um, fruit gums on it. I'm actually going to save the Baragos because they're quite big. Now I know I've got the NASA version of this, and I know I've got the yellow rescue one, and now I've got the one with the plane on it. None of them, despite being in very good condition like this one, in fact I'll probably go as far as to say that one's mint. Um, none of them have got the accessories. This one hasn't got the glider. I think that's what came with this, like a little glider. I don't know what came with the rescue one. I can't remember. All I know is it's not with it. Got some of these sort of cheapier vehicles. Can't remember the manufacturer of this one. Doesn't say on the bottom either. But I don't know what anybody else thinks. That looks like a Jeep grill to me. Then we've got, I think that's a Welly Volkswagen grill. I don't know why they chose those wheels. I think they ruin it. Half tempted to uh, pop the bottom off of this and put some different wheels on it. The obligatory matchbox Ford Cargo skip lorry minus the skip as always matchbox citroen i think this is my third one but this one's in the better condition out of all of them that's why i kept it otherwise i'd have put that in the uh, to get rid of heat what we got here i had one of these years ago but i don't think i've got it anymore well i have now i've got this one I know you are awake. Well, that's a Hot Wheels. It's a shame it's missing the um, front. I know they did a burgundy coloured one of these. I wouldn't mind trying to find that as well. I'm pretty certain I don't have it. What have we got now? We've got a Corgi tractor. Dennis Sabre fire engine from Matchbox. And a Hot Wheels fire engine that I didn't have. Well, yes, in case you're wondering, I am filming this on the same day I did that um, last bicycle video as well. Bicycle's still sitting there. And the weather is still shite. It's meant to be like it for the next three days, so... 
Um, just a cheap, generic, made in China police car. And a gasso truck. I need to double check my other boxes. I think I've got that one. Can we get under there and just... No. I'm hoping I can press the space bar and stop that video from playing, but it's not going to work. Right, we've got a little uh, Humvee for the fire service. Spoiler alert, I do have the police version in here somewhere as well. There we go, there's another Maisto version of the My First Matchbox. I've got the uh, Suzuki Jeep. That's actually the second one of these I've got, but I believe this one's in um, better condition, or it might actually be the same condition as the other one. I'll have to go into the box of Maisto and just double check. The obligatory combine harvester that you get with every job lot. I a pound for every one of those that, um, that I actually own and have come across over the years. I could have probably have bought another another moped with it. Well, we got a GT40 with the super fast wheels. Another matchbox. Hot Wheels fantasy car. I just like the look of it. It's very rare that I keep the Hot Wheels fantasy stuff, but. On the odd occasion I do. Now I kept this for some reason, I can't remember why. <laughs> okay. Oh, the obligatory matchbox tractor as well. Correction, the um, obligatory two matchbox tractors, because we've got the green one as well. Another Hot Wheels fancy car. Oh yeah, I have got another one. Well, I bought that one then. I've got one of these containers. I have got the trucks that these go on. And I have got some spare ones, so... I'll try and find an empty one to put that with. Voxel Astra seems to be the more common of the two that I know of. At least in the police get up. Um, I don't know why I kept this because I have actually got a decent red one over there actually. This one's missing a hook. But I think these hooks will actually fit that other tow truck. I'll have to try that. Alright. Oh, here's the ordinary Maisto Suzuki Jeep, which I've actually got two of as well. Um, I think that's a Hot Wheels fantasy car. We've got a real toy. Ford Crown Victoria, oh excuse me. Hello. Police car. And we have... I think that's another real toy. Yeah, it's a BMW. And hidden in my hand is a Matchbox Unimog with the super fast wheels. So I did a version with this with the removable tyres as well. Big old corgi missing a tyre, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been a nicer uh, model. Who is it? Mobile Racing Classic Collection by Corgi Mercedes W154. Uh, like Camaro from that nose. Oh, I've got something over here as well that I separately that I forgot about because I've found one here. So I must remember to show you that as well. I've buried it now. 
anyway, Pushman Pat. That one's the Corgi version, actually. I know Ertl did a version. We are getting there slowly. I don't know why that is in here. That's not meant to be in here, but that's a Porsche. Could actually be made by the same Chinese company as that uh, other car I've got up here. I've got this one boxed on the shelf, but I do like the uh, Volvo flatbed trucks, so don't need that. Not sure where that landed. Another matchbox truck. Of course, the matchbox Mustang missing its tyres, unfortunately. I've got this little um. Tough Tots. I was trying to see who it was done, but I can't remember. Lone Star, that was it. He has actually gone to sleep now. You've got this little Tough Tots car. I've got a few Tough Tots. They're tiny little things. I mean, would you really want to give a small child something this tiny? Probably not. I certainly wouldn't. Right. Ukraine, minus the boom, of course. Didn't know they did it with the yellow rear bit there. We've got a light up Hot Wheels. Batteries are dead, but it should light up. I just hope they haven't leaked. We have got... That's a Lido, isn't it? Yeah, Lido Bisto truck. I decided to keep. As I've said a hundred times before, this isn't the sort of stuff that I would go out and buy, but... If I get it in a job lot like this, and I actually like it, then I will keep it. You know, same with this little Corgi here. I do believe I've got a bus in here somewhere as well. Yep, there it is. Good little corgi bus. The British Overseas Air Airways Corporation. BOAC. Both of these have got the headlights snapped off. No surprise. I've got a fairly modern Matchbox Unimog there. Another Hot Wheels. Another Hot Wheels fantasy vehicle that I decided I liked. And a matchbox, super fast, Jeep in yellow. With the um, super fast wheels, not the removable tyres. And this is the only one I've now got with these wheels. With the windscreen still intact. I've got several of these and all of them have got the busted windscreen. So I was um, pretty pleased when I saw that in here. Oh, we've got another one of these cheapy police cars. I did see another one of these somewhere the other day, and I can't remember where I saw it. Oh, one of the, uh, the community shop, charity shop. Another Hot Wheels fantasy car. We ain't got much more in here. Which is actually good, because I'm running out of space. Right, we have... The police Humvee. Some sort of military vehicle. Don't know who it's made by or what it is. We've got... Can't actually see who it's made by, but... Quite a nice looking blue Volkswagen Beetle. Ford Mustang. Hot Wheels. Another one that I didn't have. Which is amazing in itself, you know, because I have got hundreds of Ford Mustangs. Including this one, but I can't remember if I've actually got this one, or if I got rid of it. So, I'm keeping that one for now until I can confirm. 
So everybody. Matchbox fire engine missing the boom. Or the ladder I should see. yeah that had a ladder on it. Box Lastra, I've got a few of these. It's very hard to find these in a reasonable condition. That's in reasonable condition. We've got a few of these real toys, I think. Yeah, that's what this one is, another real toy. They weren't bad, in fairness. Don't know if they still exist, but they just they weren't bad. They were cheaper than Matchbox and cheaper than uh, Hot Wheels and so forth, but quality wise they were not that bad. In my opinion. Okay. I'm leaving the bigger ones in here so I can just put them back in here when I'm done. Apart from the odd couple that I have actually taken out. So a little Maisto fire truck. Hot Wheels, I think that's a Lotus, if I remember correctly. Love that green. Hot Wheels truck. It doesn't say what it is on the bottom. Going by the front, my guess would be Ford. We've got another Corgi here. An unusual Corgi. I've never seen this one. Corgi Juniors Whiz Wheels. An Adams Probe 6. That's some sort of concept car or something. Never heard of it, never seen it. And for Corby, that feels ridiculously cheap and horrible. Matchbox, buggy. I believe that's what it says underneath it. Whoop, throwing that one around. And I've got a handful in there. Another one of these trails. Now, I do like to keep these because I've got so many poxy tractors that I can put with them. That one's missing its tyres though, I don't think I've got enough to go on that one. Little Lesney um, bus. Broken wheel unfortunately. Another Chevy Blazer from Matchbox. Police. Really do like these castings. And uh, if I find them like this I will keep them. I'm probably going to um, do some custom ones of them because I wouldn't mind doing one in a a CHP livery. Anyway, matchbox, plow. Yeah, I think it's matchbox, yeah. Matchbox race car. Right. Got another one of these Range Rover Takar units. I did one in red for the fire service as well. That one's the police one. Uh, got Audi TT. Which I think is real toy. I've got this um, sorry looking Thunderbolt from Hot Wheels. M2 made in China fire truck. <laughs> That's what it says on the bottom. And a, a Maisto Ferrari F40. Let's see if I can get the rest of these uh, tiddlers out of here. Right, I've got another one of these. I'm not sure what this is because it doesn't say on the bottom. But it's transparent, blue wheels. Reminds me of the Nissan Cube or something like that. It's familiar. It looks really familiar to me, but I just can't put my finger on what it is. Honda, maybe? No. Uh, we've got another Hot Wheels here. Ferrari. Another real toy Beetle. I think that's what the blue one was, a real toy. Uh, Hot Wheels, Dodge Charger SRT. And a Matchbox Ferrari um, race car. I don't know what formula it is. And Commoner's Muck Crane. 
I've got several of these. I've even got several of these I'm trying to get rid of. I always see these. And I guarantee there'll be at least one in that bag of die cast that I go and get Wednesday. I know there's like three rollers in there. Okay. So in the box we've now got, I don't know who made these, but they've got the same wheels. We've got a loader and a dumper. So I assume they either came as a set or... I don't know, I've got those. We've got this tiny little Tonka. It was meant to be like an airport tug or something. Uh, oh, I've got the yellow one of these to go with the blue one. I'm not sure who made this, but I liked it. <laughs> the Monster Truck Cement Truck. I've got that Corgi. It's a Ferrari, isn't it? Yeah, the Ferrari, that's it, Berlinetta. Ideal for a resto project, that one. And then we've got four Barangos in here. Not one of my favourites, but again, I, if I can find good ones like these, I will keep them. So we've got the Porsche. We've got another Porsche. <laughs> we have BMW. I can't remember what this one is. It's a Ford. Unfortunately, this one is missing its tail lights. And that is it. That's all I've got. Until I get that uh, bag on Wednesday, which will be 4 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. Uh, yeah, I think I need to. Goody, 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 goody. Goody, 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 goody. Snow is asleep on the cat tree. Bless him. I need to get a photo of that, don't I? Right. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. And get my desk cleared. I'm not going to put everything in that box. There are some things that I want to keep separate. Like those. I've got a bow in the light bar for some reason. In one of those. Right. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. As always, hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Cat hair going everywhere because he's uh, shedding like heck, so is she. Um, if you want to see more videos like this one and the bicycle related videos and the barricade lamp videos, and remember, smash that subscribe button, it's free. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.